22-year-old Nicole Bobek. She has been one of the audience favorites at the U.S. Nationals the last few years, but her irrepressible charm and natural ability was evident long before that. Some would call her a ham. Just turn on the lights and she was born to perform. She's charismatic, she's spontaneous, she's creative. She's simply Nicole Bobek. At age 16, she's been able to use these remarkable qualities to exhibit her special flair on the ice. Last year in the technical program, she doubled her lutz jump and the vital triple combination crumbled. But not Nicole. Years of improvising gave her an edge and her mind raced for a solution. When I did the double lutz, like, my first reaction was like, on the ice, just at practice. Okay, stop the tape, we went in, let me try that again. You know, I remember I was not even thinking about my spin or my arms, my choreography, nothing. I was just thinking, okay, what am I gonna, wait, maybe I can switch it. And then, I, then when I was coming around, I was like, toe, foot, toe, foot. If I do a toe, I'll get no credit. Well, if I do a flip, maybe they'll give me a little credit, even if I fall. Oh, well, too late, flip. And I did it. So, even when I was young, if I'd miss something, I'd always whip it in somewhere else. So... I just made it up right there on the spot and did all my jumps and, you know, I didn't care, like, if I was embarrassed, if I looked funny or anything. I just went out there and I did it. And it made me seem not very responsible to other people, but for me, that's just the way I am. It's hard to tame a free spirit, but when the harsh realities of a flawed performance in the long dropped her to a disappointing fifth place, Nicole had to come back down to earth. When I came home, I took about two or three weeks off, and I really concentrated on my school. I didn't feel like skating, but by the third week, I, I was so bored, you know? I was kind of like, where's my life, you know? And I came in my room, and I got tired of looking at my medals and everything. And I took everything down to skating. Every picture, every medal, every poster, everything. to put it in a suitcase. And there was nothing on my wall. There was nothing on my wall. And it showed me that there's nothing else with me. Skating is my life. Well, the skating community certainly can be thankful that Nicole decided to continue. And while Nicole prepares to skate, Nancy Kerrigan can do nothing more than watch from a private suite high above Joe Lewis Arena, counseled by her Colorado sports Springs, psychologist Colorado. Cindy Adams and Please consoled by her niece. Nicole Bobet. Remember, the first move that she does is going to be the most important for her. It is a triple blutz, double toe loop combination. She has had trouble with it consistently. If she lands this, my guess is everything else will fall in place. But here is a young woman who has grown up a lot in the past two years. She's best known for her charismatic crowd appeal, but in the past, when things go well and the crowd's with her, She's been tempted to spontaneously re-choreograph her program. Here comes this combination. Watch the entrance. Watch the way she places her free leg. Watch the stretch right there. Wonderful height to it. <laughs> Wonderful height. Beautiful. I think that points out a very interesting thing about Nicole Bobek. She's been having trouble with it all during practice. It is not perfect technically, but the energy of the moment, the ability to skate well under pressure comes through, and as a result, she's able to do it in the competition. Watch the fabulous extension that she gets on her spiral. It's a combination of natural extension and time spent stretching and working at this spectacular move. Nicole could give her coach Kathy Casey a sweep of the singles titles following Scott Davis's victory on Thursday night. Kathy Casey also coaches Scott Davis. This, her second.
second most difficult move when it's tripled as a double, easy, light, and first rate. This is her seventh move, serpentine footwork. The huge lobes it takes on the ice, the form it takes, shows the structure and the choreography of the step. There's a young lady with an enormous amount of talent. There's Kathy Casey, Nicole's coach. Look at that reaction. And Nancy Kerrigan watching from the private box high above Joe Lewis Arena. And we'll have Nicole scores and Tanya Harding will be next to skate when we come back. This is that triple lutz double toe loop. Look at the height of the leg, the switch of the edge before she goes into it. The jump leaning slightly in the air, but the energy that she has, the competitive spirit is just perfect. And look at the smile. <laughs> Isn't she happy with this? <laughs> Certainly is one charming lady. 5.7 and 5.7. Eight. And the marks for required elements, very high. They range from 5.5 to 5.7. And she's obviously si signaling, I think, a boyfriend, don't you? <laughs> a lucky boyfriend. You tell him I'm thinking of you. 5.8. Oh, these, are, these marks are really first rate so far for the style, the presentation, the artistry, the personality that she has. It really brought out her personality, and she had fun doing it. And 5.7.